Shalom, shalom. On my way to work again. Um, just making this video to ask everyone, everyone that's out there listening, to keep our family in prayer. Um, the Limones family. Uh, our grandmother passed away uh, yesterday. They said it's probably from a heart attack. Uh, we're still getting some information in. Uh, my brother called me. My my cousins, my uncle, everybody's calling me and uh, let me know what happened. <clears throat> and so they're gonna make the, um, the arrangements for the funeral and all that soon and um, let everybody know what's going on. But um, right now I'm just asking for prayer for the family to make sure everything's done in peace. Everything's done um, in love, you know. Uh, I really believe that grandma would want all of us to get along and want us to succeed in life and help each other as best that we can. She helped a lot of people and she, her home was always open to everyone. And um, I believe that she would want us to be the same way. I don't think she would want anybody fighting or being upset or uh, being so downtrodden that she's gone that they can't go on with their life. She, uh, she believe, really believed that she would want us to um, have a thriving, exciting, loving, peaceful life. And so just with that, please keep us in prayer as uh, we, we go through this part of our life and you know as many uh, have before and many will soon you know part of life is death and um, it's not easy I'm not going to say it's easy for some it's really really hard I have certain issues with it um, I don't like going to funerals it's one of the things that I really don't like to do I do when I have to but I really don't like to um, it's something I don't like to deal with I, I have a hard time uh, understanding certain things yeah, I know what the scripture says but it's, uh, it's when uh, uh, someone close to you is taken it's, it's hard to uh, imagine you're not going to hear them or see them again here in this world and spend time with them and so there are some that were really close to grandma I mean, really close um Especially some of the girls uh, or my cousins, my my aunts, they're really close to her, and I know they're gonna really miss her a lot, and they're, they're probably still crying right now. But they're always there for them the best way that they could be, and um, you know, it's a little different. It's different for everyone, but the ones who are closest are the ones who are gonna miss. But I tell you this: they might cry because they miss her, but they will never cry because they have regret because they spent time with her, and they were there for her. So um, all those that are out there, not just my my, my uh, cousins and my, my aunts and my nieces, you know, all of them, but also um, her sons and her daughters and all the men that were there too. So not to leave anybody out, but I just know that there are some that were closer to her than, than others. They were way closer to her than I was. You know, I have um, my certain grandparents on my side that are gone, that I'm really close to, and I have my, my nana is still here. And um really close to her so it's I understand the difference and um, for the for them I'm praying for peace and for comfort and so if you can keep keep them in prayer please you know and just uh, understand that this part of life and we, we all go through it we need each other and for all you that are out there you know our family needs your prayers we need your comfort we need we need the um, we just need everyone to stand strong with us as we go through this and as we come out of it and um, I really believe that everything's going to be all right in the end. <clears throat> it's just uh, she was uh, already of age. I, think, I believe she was in her 80s. Um, let me see if I can get over here. We've got an emergency vehicle coming through. A lot of rain still, and um, not a lot of rain, just a little bit. But people don't know how to drive in the rain, and we have a lot of accidents. So far, I've seen three accidents on my way here, and hopefully, everyone's all right. And I always pray for them too, because car accidents are never good, breakdowns are never good. So, keep everybody in prayer. You know, it's um, trying times uh, right now, and some places are worse than others. We still have our freedom in our country. We still have a right to study the Bible. We have to have the right to pray. So do those things and keep each other in prayer. Uh, man, a lot going on here. But all right.
right well I'll be putting out some other stuff soon we've been really really busy a lot of things going on with uh, with work and uh, with our home and a lot of things going on but not to bring anybody down be encouraged though Just be encouraged you can still be your best you can still be great you can still be awesome you know we have these little things that happen in life but there are things that will make us strong and help us overcome and help us to help others that are going through it you know because today I might stand strong but tomorrow I might need you to help me stand at all and hopefully I'm, I'm trying to help all you that are out there to stand strong in whatever situation you are you can be that standing tree inside the, the strongest storm and uh, be able to survive and, and, and thrive you know I want people to be successful in all that they do you know there's billions and billions of people in this world and there's only a few a few million that are doing doing good they're doing they're being successful they're being able to take care of themselves and their family and um, there's what I'm trying to say is there's room for you to be great there's room for you uh, there's opportunity for you to do all kinds of successful things and have a really good life to travel and to to see the world to have good experiences to make good memories before we lose the people around us that we love the most make the most of your life while you have it because life comes and life goes what are you doing with your life you know, that's what I think about when times like this come in our family and in our loved ones. What are we doing with our life? You know, I started thinking about it more and more. I said, I need to do more with my children. They're, they're, I already have my oldest is 20, and uh, my 18 year old, he just turned 18. What are we doing with our life? I need to spend more time with them, teaching them, having good times with them, making memories, going places. They love to travel they're just like me. You know, we like to go out and do things, you know. We like the winter, we like the snow, we like the storms and the rain and the heat and everything. We love all all those seasons and we just go out and we enjoy whatever the Father has out there. We try to do the best what we can. You know? Do what you can with your life. The best that you can do it. You know, get rid of the crutches, the excuses and, you know, whatever past you had and whatever you went through in life. You really got to learn how to let go of that and, and, and continue pushing on and climbing. Climbing to be the person you're supposed to be, the great person you're supposed to be. Because you really have greatness inside of you, and it's only you that can unlock that person and, and let that person live the life they're supposed to be. Take a look in the mirror today. You know, a lot of mirror time, and I'm not talking about a, a physical mirror. You know, you could be, but I'm talking about a spiritual mirror where you're looking deep inside yourself and saying, what have I done with my time? What am I doing with my time? And what am I going to do with my time? You need to ask yourself those questions. How will I make myself successful? What book am I going to read today? What prayers am I going to pray today? And who am I going to help today? What attitude do I choose to have today? How do I choose to let the things around me affect me? You need to ask yourself the right questions. Because I said before, the questions are powerful. And the questions you ask yourself will determine the person you're going to be. And will determine the outcome of your day, your week. Your, the months and the years what questions are you asking yourself and you know one thing is you know how do I unlo unlock the successful person that's in me how do I learn what I need to learn who do I need to get around that will help me and teach me what prayers do I need to pray for people you know what, what do I put inside of here that can grow out grow into something great you know we, are, we really are um, like the land like the earth you know, and if, you, if you're a true believer and you understand how Adam was made, he was made from the dust of the earth. And the Father, you know, breathed life into him. Well, he's, breath, he's breathing, breathing life into all of us as we read his, read his word and as we pray and we build that relationship with him and as we build, build relationships with each other. And um, you can be great. What you put in the land is what you'll get out. You know, if you, if you plant, go outside and you plant um, an orange tree, you're gonna get an orange tree. If you go out there and you, you plant a very poisonous plant, you're gonna have a poisonous plant grow. So my thing is this, what you plant inside of you is what you're gonna get, you know? There's people that sit there and they, they love math and that's all they study. And when they, as the years go by and all they do is study math, they're probably gonna be an engineer because they love math and what they put in is what they're gonna get out. They know certain uh, math equations and formulas and, and postulates and all this stuff that others don't know. Because they put their time in learning these things, little by little. You know, yeah, it might have, it may have came easier to them because they like it, but it doesn't mean you can't learn it. 
you know, and that goes for English, math, history, the sciences, computer engineering, uh, business, anything you, you want to do, marketing, and entrepreneurship, which is a, a, one of the great, greatest minds of, of the world. Entrepreneurs are strong. They got a, they got a drive inside of them. And um, you can have all those things, you know, study the greats, read the books that you're supposed to read. I'll be do, I'll be doing some uh, other teachings later on. I'm trying to get some stuff out. I got a lot of stuff put away on. I got to start releasing and uh, start showing you guys what you need to read and what you need to study and um, what you do when you get up in the morning. You know, if you get up and you just have a, a heart of gratitude, heart of gratitude, that you're gonna you're gonna gain so much more in your life. The more you're grateful for what you have right now. And focus on the things you have, not the things you don't have. Things you have been, you have received, not the things that you're, you want. As long as you start focusing on the right things, you'll bring more of, more of those things into your life. And um, your focus and what you're thinking upon, upon is what you're putting inside your mind. And your mind is the ground that we use to plant ideas. And what we plant is what we will receive. So plant good things, plant beautiful things, plant exciting things, plant creative things. And uh, you'll see that um, it's gonna grow one day and you're gonna have something so beautiful, you're gonna have a good life, you really can. So I'll be putting some stuff out and uh, when you find yourself in a situation of making a choice, you know, do I, do I get up and eat? the right things do I get up and exercise do I get up and do I work out or do I watch TV I mean do I read a book or do I watch TV do I do my homework or do I play a video game whatever it is you got to make that choice and you have about five seconds to make it and I said in one of my other videos I, I explained the science behind that start counting backwards five four three two one and it resets your mind when you get up in the morning count backwards leave your phone alone put your phone down put the computer down put the tablet down when you get up in the morning count backwards five four three two one and get up and go get up and get yourself ready get up and do something before you, you you put on let the world influence your mind influence yourself uh I, I would say suggest you wake up and start thanking the father for all the great thing number one thank you for giving me life i woke up today there's a lot of people that didn't number two wake up and thank the father for all the family that you still have and all the loved ones that are close to you and then thank him for the roof you have over your head, the clothes you have on your back, and the food that you have. I don't care how little it is or how old it is. You have something that others don't have. Be grateful for what you have. And uh, you will be able to receive more and greater. And it's an absolute truth. There are certain laws that are, and principles that are written in the scriptures and written in the Bible that no man can change. You know, one thing the Bible says that a man will become that which he thinks about the most. And so, what are you thinking upon? You know, our, the master, the master teacher, he says, on these things, think about. And it says, the Lord, over, whatever soul is beautiful, whatever soul, you know. He goes down and talks about all the beautiful, knowledgeable, peaceful things, righteous things. He never, never one, one time does he mention anything ugly or evil. He doesn't even mention war and devils and he doesn't mention those things. Because he's, he's telling us, don't, don't focus on those things. That's not what it's about. That's why I don't watch the news. You'll never see me you know, in front of a TV or on my phone or on my computer watching the news. I don't care about the latest catastrophe. You know, um, whatever's going on and, and you know, whatever famous person's out there now. I don't care. That stuff has nothing to do with me. Well, I, I live in, I belong to a different kingdom. I belong to a, to a different king. I belong to a different family. And so why would I, would I worry about what's going on in someone else's kingdom? I need to focus on the kingdom of Elohim, the kingdom of God, and help build that kingdom and bring others into it so they can live a, a, a life of peace, you know? So just with that, you know, keep our family in prayer. I'm trying to keep everybody encouraged as best as I can and keep myself encouraged and encourage my family. So, you know, I, lo I, lo I love people. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I can help as many people as I can. And uh, hopefully I'm helping you if, in any way. So just uh, keep us in prayer. Um, and we'll pray for all those that we know. 
And uh, sometimes I'm praying for those I don't know. And the Father knows how to reach them. He can take my prayer and use it in, in a person's life and uh, do something great for them. And they don't even know who's praying for them. And neither, neither do I. But the prayer went out. The prayer went out. And it, the prayer doesn't just disappear. It has to work in somebody's life. Maybe it's yours. So, uh, shalom, shalom. Love you all. Remember, stay great. Be the person you're supposed to be. And be blessed. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.